Hello everybody, my name is Pranus, and welcome back to more Star Wars Empire at War, Thrawn's Revenge. We killed so many New Republic heroes in the last episode, it's almost sad. Goodbye Lando, Luke, Mara, Leia, Kyle, and a few other no-names that no one really cares about. Ah, it was glorious, absolutely glorious. So I think now is a good time to start making our push toward Coruscant. Starting, of course, over here in Borlius. I am sending a probe droid to go and get some exploration in, get some idea what we're in for, and then we're going to have a nice large navy ready to take these guys out. Especially if I could get myself at least one more Allegiance Battlecruiser, which it looks like we are doing right now. We also want to take out the Empire of the Hand. That does make a lot of sense. Would be good to take out Contrim, kind of connect all this up. Maybe get over here to Obrota Sky. And before we resurrect Palpatine, I definitely want to try to take over Biss. We might get this for free, technically, if we move on to Era 4, but, I mean, I'm having fun with Thrawn as is right now, so we'll worry about Biss later. Kuat would make a lot of sense to get, so we can rob the New Republic of a major shipyard able to produce the capital ships. But nonetheless, let's just sort of see what's going to happen with these teeny little probe droids. Let's see if we can have some fun with that. Oh, there goes the Allegiance Cruiser. Thank you. All right, I'd love to build more, but I think we'll hold off for a moment. Um, oh, we're being attacked at Kessel. Uh, truth be told, I'm not really expecting to win here in Kessel. Something I'm going to do is just go ahead and sell off this Moth Palace because there's no way in heck we're going to survive this. So I'm just going to go ahead and auto-resolve, except that we're going to lose the space battle here. We surprisingly took out a couple of their things with the platform. Didn't expect that, but alrighty. So they're going to send some ground forces and take this over, and I'll be honest, there's not a whole lot I can do about it, and I don't even really want to. Did you not want to do your spy mission? There we go. Okay, looks like they have practically nothing. Let's go ahead and head down here to Borlius right now using my navy and get ready to finish off this platform. There we go. Easy enough. Just a little space station. Say goodbye to all that nonsense. Ba boom. Okay, so the question is, do we go directly for Coruscant to try and get rid of this navy? Wedge Antilles is hanging out over here. Hi, Wedge. Wedge! Wedge could be a small problem. Very small problem. Let's go ahead and start moving the extra ground forces over here. It's going to take a little while. We can probably go clear out Coruscant and then just pop back over here without much issue. I mean, I'm going to send this fleet nearby, though, just so we can do bombardments if I don't get there as fast as I expect. All right. I think I once again forgot to send in a gosh dang scout ship. Oh, my God. I can't believe I keep doing this. Also, I just saw a little pop-up from Thrawn, but I didn't get to read it. You need to speak up a little sooner than that, buddy. You know what I'm going to do? Might seem controversial. I'm going to try to actually retreat, and we can just pop back in and actually get some proper deployment this time. Also, I think they have an uh, ion cannon on Coruscant, which is going to become very annoying as they start uh, ripping through my shields. So we got to be wary of that. There we go. Let's try that again. By the way, one thing I've noticed is apparently we are in the negative for some parts. We should probably fix that. If I can find a planet, I don't mind... Uh Let's say over here on Bastion, let's try building out some sort of factory that would increase my part production. It looks like an industrial one. There we go. I don't really know why I need to have parts and what a role this accomplishes or what negative problems we have if we are, you know, in the negative. But I figure it's not good, so we should try to keep this up in the positive at any point. All right, now we're going to try this one again. By the way, if you're finding this game to be too easy sometimes, first off, I'm only playing on Captain Difficulty because it's been a long time since I played Empire at War. Play on Admiral, you'll have a harder time. But also, this mod does have something called Cruel AI, which once you turn on, you can't turn off. It basically lets the AI just straight out cheat in order to beat you as much as it can. And even then, I think that probably you can outsmart the AI, but they'll be way more aggressive and just get, like, free ships and sped up everything. It's it's pretty awful. All right, let's try this one again, because this is obviously a really big and important fight. So, pause, take a look. So they got quite a few ships. What I want to do is split these guys off so I can pick them off one by one. What I think I do is send a Karak light cruiser up over this way to try to force them to go around the asteroid belt. I think I also send another Karak light cruiser, let's say over here. The goal being to get some of them to come over this way and split around the asteroid field and the others to go up this way. That's what we're shooting for. Also, if I can trick the AI into wasting one of their ion shots on a crack light cruiser, hey, you know, so much the better. It is a recharging um, uh, ground-based uh, weapon, so they'll get more shots, but there we go. All right, now we're going to retreat with all of you guys, bring them all over here. Looks like some of them are splitting off, but they decided to go after this guy instead, which is not 
quite what I had in mind. Well, mate, maybe not. Hang on. Okay, if the Moncal cruisers want to come over here, that's that's great. Let's uh, let's actually try to entice them by getting a little closer over here. Yeah, it looks like they actually are splitting the forces exactly the way I wanted. Hello, I recognize you, a Liberator cruiser. Gosh, these are so many things I recognize just from playing Star Wars Supremacy. Reporting. Uh, or Star Wars Rebellion, sorry. Um, so stinking fun. I loved that game. I honestly should revive that on the channel. I did play that a long time back. I did play a couple of different campaigns. One is the Rebels and one is the Empire. Rebels, OP if you know what to do and go really fast. But, alright. So at this point, I think their fleets are sufficiently split off. Now's the time when we probably go in for the kill. And that should hopefully end up being enough for me to do some good damage. There's the Ion Cannon, by the way, taking some shots at my Allegiance Battle Cruisers. Not a fan, not a fan. Okay, let's see how effective this actually ends up being. I could see myself losing a ship or two here only because some of these uh, Mon Cal cruisers are really quite good. We are taking this down really quickly, which I appreciate. Um, let's see if we can start hitting the Liberty Cruiser over here. This thing is going down pretty quick so far. Thrawn, go ahead and start hitting this guy right here. I'm a little bit worried about the number of bombers I'm looking at. This Strike Cruiser is getting shot at. Didn't expect that. Um, I think we can afford to have you boost your weapon power. This guy we need to be ready to retreat with. This Victory Cruiser is super dead. Oh, wow. Yeah, they decided not to uh, attack my Star Destroyers as much as kill my Victory Cruisers. Which is okay. Um, it's annoying. But I'm okay with losing victories. Those are relatively cheap in comparison. Let's go ahead and start knocking down. I guess we might as well finish off this Ardent. It doesn't have any guns left, though. Go ahead and take out the victory. Did I lose? No, no, we lost the victory, but we haven't yet lost the strike cruiser. So they're sort of okay. I'm gonna go ahead and boost up more power. Let's attack a little bit harder. Um, they're chasing down my Karak light cruiser over here. It is certainly going to die. I'm okay with that. You, I'm gonna go ahead and do an emergency retreat. Why lose a ship when I can always just uh, get it out of here and repair it? And maybe bring in a new one instead later, unless it doesn't survive here. Uh, nope, it's dead. All right, well. Was nice in theory. Uh, more reinforcements. Um, I can't quite bring in another Star Destroyer, I think. Yes, I can. Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to. Hello! Bring it in the party! It's gonna be great. Let's bring in an Acclimator too, as well. Why not? Those guys are great. Take out the Dauntless Cruiser over here. Notice that we've been able to split their forces very effectively. They're bringing more in over here, but like we can just kind of pick apart this Navy which is just fantastic. So we've lost a couple of strike cruisers, uh, one victory. So far, haven't lost any major battle cruisers though, which is great. Okay, there's their liberator. Let's go ahead and knock this down. I wanna bring in my lancers once again, take out their bombers. Where are my bombers? Bombers, go ahead and start hitting the dauntlesses over here. And you are actually in a pretty bad spot. I do kind of need to defend you against all these fighters. That is a lot of bombers coming after you right now, bud. It's a lot of bombers, but I got to focus on these guys first. These are the only real threats on the board. You think I'm worried about these dreadnoughts? Unless they're Katana fleet, then I don't think I care. I'm not worried about them at all. Gosh dang it, stop it with the ion cannon nonsense. All right, this Wedge Antilles, this guy needs to go. Got to get rid of that. Can't allow the hero to survive. But that should take care of, like, all their main fleets. So now we can start moving here toward the Golan. While everyone else just kind of follows behind and helps. Oh god, that is so many fighters. Wedge, I know you're, like, a really good pilot and all, but you should not be able to survive this. <laughs> is he in a bunch of B-Wings? He actually might be, or maybe that's these things over here. Where is Wedge? Wedge? Stop shooting me! Gosh, dang it. Um, I don't know where Wedge went. He, he might actually be alive. I would be shocked if so. But I don't see any evidence that he's somewhere. Did he jump out? Well, we're going to go ahead and assume that he's dead at this point. Um, in the meantime, the space station's pretty much all that's left, which should be pretty easy for me. Honestly, my bombers are doing a great job of just kind of shredding through this. So we should be about to win this fight. There's like one little ship somewhere that's hiding that I can't quite figure out where he went. Must be... Over here, there it is. Found it! All right, there's one more assault frigate that they warped in. Well, hyperspace in, jumped in. It's not Star Trek, you get the point though. Take that out and we win. All right, Coruscant! We have finished with the battle over Coruscant. And now we are preparing for some ground invasions, which should be very fun. So yeah, ultimately lost five ships. Oh, I forgot about the crack cruiser that went and 
did the sacrificial gesture. I'm glad that worked the way it did. So yeah, those are all pretty acceptable losses, especially considering how much we took down. Boom, that has absolutely got to hurt. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do some ground combat. All right, so starting here, looks like they shouldn't have much of anything. Honestly, I'm just going to auto-resolve it. Lost a Stormtrooper for no good reason, but we took out a few things there, so that's good. Now let's go ahead and start bringing over some extra reinforcements, like so. An escort character has been, uh, carrier has been destroyed by... Really? I didn't know that your cannons were able to attack me while I'm in orbit. I mean, that makes sense. But, oh wow, so that definitely puts the onus on you to go fast and take it down before they start destroying all your ships. Fascinating. All right, Battle of Coruscant, here we go. Now, the best part about fighting on Coruscant is we actually get some civilians who are happy to help with this, which basically means until the uh, enemy comes to and destroys all these skyscrapers uh, by attacking civilians, which is kind of like, you know, a war crime, uh, we can use these guys as some free infantry. Very helpful if you want to rapidly run in here and grab a few of these turret points and maybe an extra landing zone or two. Now, in this area, what should I do? Great question. Um, we're going to want to grab turret points, of course. I probably should start by getting some ATAT -AT walkers, or do I want to wait until we get over... Actually, I guess, I guess I'm placing one down anyway. All right, never mind. ATATs plus maybe a Dark Jedi. That seems appropriate for Coruscant, right? And we can get some extra reinforcements over here in just a little bit. Let's get some anti-infantry, some anti-tank. Yup, here they come. Now, they'll just keep spawning every time these guys die, so I'm okay with just sending my civilians in to go install them so that we can try to get these turrets set up, which it looks like we've already failed to do. All right, hang on. Hold back a minute. Yeah, they don't last long. I'll give them that. They, they, die, they die pretty darn easy. It's okay, though, because really the whole point is just to stall, right? We're just trying to stall while we get in here and cause some serious damage. Dark Jedi coming in. Don't mind me. I'll use Force Corrupt on you if you get too close. Don't try me. I'm a Jedi on the edge. I don't know what this guy is, actually. Was he technically a Jedi, or is he just, you know, Force-sensitive and crazy? Maybe. Force Corrupt. Use them effectively. Destroy these guys. There we go. Lightning! I love it. This guy heals up pretty quick, too, so, like, meh. Let's run here and see if we can't take away their um, landing zone so I can get some extra reinforcements. Just sit tight over here. The AT-ATs can finish this off. No worries, no worries. Well, I take it back. These guys can stall you. Lightning again! Ha 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 ha! Freaking love lightning, dude. It's so good in this game. So good in everything Star Wars-based, honestly. All right, we can construct a bunker over here, which I will do. And then we will get some extra space camels because space camels are awesome! Here we go, no problem at all. Okay, keep moving forward. Getting a repair base over here wouldn't be bad. Um, let's see if we can run forward and steal this tank somehow. I don't think it'll last long against the, uh, never mind, just lightning these guys then. I wanna try to use Force Corrupt effectively to just kinda knock out units. Even if I don't plan on keeping them, it's just generally helpful. Uh, so we can kill some of these guys off too. Here come some more space camels. All right, good. Let's grab all of you guys. Um, yeah, I think I need to get a repair bay just to be safe. Lightning those guys on down. ATATs will finish off the rest. There we go. Yeah, this is going really well so far. Uh, absolutely zero problems. Let's get a sensor node built up. Actually, oh, I'm tempted to say we should make this a sensor node instead because I could probably just bomb stuff from afar. Then again, I don't know. Maybe I'm not worried about it. It'll probably be fine, right? Let's go ahead and get a repair station. You guys move here, you move here, you move here, you move forward, you move forward as well. And we're good. Plus, we have some of these guys sitting around. Some faster-moving uh, mechanical units, which should be pretty darn effective. And if they're going to keep coming up this bridge, I mean, that's just like prime force corruption opportunities right there, you know what I mean? Hey, look, bombing runs. Um, I could take out their generator. That's controlling their ion cannon, which I don't care about. Tell you what, let's blow this up instead. The New Republic Senate. Wait, is that like their actual capital? It would make sense if it were. Force Corrupt, I want that tank. Thank you. You shoot, you shoot your friends or something. I don't know. Uh, this tank is dangerously close to death. How the heck did that happen? How'd you guys let this tank get this? How'd you let, how'd you let the AT-AT get this close to death? Unacceptable. Oh, I took out the anti-aircraft. Brilliantly, well done. All right, so the Senate is gone. Hope you guys weren't attached to that or anything. Oh, they're trying to retreat? Yeah. Hey, now! You can't just retreat from Coruscant. I'm having fun killing you. No, 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 no. Get over here. I want to get as many kills as possible. Gosh dang it, you guys are going to rob me of my joy. 
<sighs> All right, well, we won the Battle of Coruscant. Thanks, AI. Mine now. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, there we go. We have conquered Coruscant. Um, over Coruscant, we have, like, nothing. Wait, what's going on in Cor Cor Coruscant? There we go. I need to make sure I get myself some space platforms. Uh, it would be good to get myself a Moth Palace. What is this? Arcarid Industries, if we want to have cheaper droids. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's, it's okay. What's an XR-85? I don't know. I do think we want to get ourselves another hypervelocity cannon, which is going to allow us to um, try to snipe down any enemy fleets if they do come over here. And what are we losing here? Food? Minus 10? I mean, I still says I have enough food at the moment. I think I'm just going to ignore that for the moment and pretend that everything's okay. What is this thing over here in Karita? I just noticed? Looks like Academy of Karita High Influence will reduce time between graduations. Can only be built here. Gets me extra ship crews. Also, an upkeep cost of some sort. Well, it seems pretty good. I don't know exactly what it does, but it seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and send our fleet over to Contrum next. I think this could be a good place for us to attack. Another, you know, kind of important uh, choke point. Control this, and we can keep them corralled away from Karita. All right, what you got for me? Oh! We found a big navy! Big navy! Okay, I don't see what they've got, but, um... This might be scary. Gosh dang it with the whole when you reload the game not having a dang scout ship. It really messes me up. We might have to retreat here, uh, depending. This is definitely a lot more than I was expecting. They actually might have been planning on an invasion of me, and that's why they've been kind of deathballing their ships. The AI, AI does tend to do that. Um, something I read, I actually haven't tested to see if this is true, but something I have read is that the AI, by default, will try to amass a fleet that's at least twice your size before they attack. So if you keep your ships off the front line, uh, they will send small little groups to take out your uh, shipyards, which you can then just clean up. But if you've got a big fleet, then that means they're going to amass a big fleet somewhere as well. So you built another home one type, huh? Yeah, I don't really want to fight this, I think. Um, this, this might be a bit more than I was expecting. So, Contrum, I'm kind of leaning toward a big fat no. Wait for a couple more seconds and see if we can get out of here. I gotta reorganize a little bit, and I'm definitely not doing this whole nonsense of not having a scout ship. Okay, so we're out of there. That's the good news. We're fine. But now I know where they've amassed their fleet, and it's on Contrum. Which, it so happens, is not a place I really want to go fighting over right now. Especially without a lot more reinforcements. Speaking of reinforcements, we have some available. So I'll go ahead and start sending them off in that direction. Um, for some reason, my tooltip over here disappeared. We do need to make sure we are still getting plenty of parts and food and stuff. I'll go ahead and start building a couple extra buildings here and there. Um, let's get some food, parts, blah, blah, blah. Make sure we got plenty of those going around. I'm fine on crews, shockingly enough. Building up the Moth Palace. I think that's going to be okay. Coruscant, we can build a whole load of stuff on here once we're done. So, uh, this will be useful to me. Beyond that, yeah. So what else do we do now? Do we go rob them of Kuat? I'm kind of thinking we rob them of Kuat because I don't want them building any more of these capital ships. I also think that maybe a good way to do that would be to build a quick probe droid and first find out what the heck we're dealing with so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now we're gonna have two really big fleets combining over here, so fleet power of 501. This is pretty substantial. It's a big fleet. Big fleet. No doubt about it. Uh, Moth Palace should be finishing over here right about... Well, just a moment. Uh, we could build ourselves a frigate shipyard, shipyard, which I will happily do. Get another Allegiance battle cruiser. Let's go find out what they got hiding out on Kuat. I just want to know if this is an easy, soft target I can take down. They got some stuff. They got a Star Destroyer somehow, which I don't appreciate. Plus a Dauntless and an MC-80B. Yeah, we can handle this uh, if we're smart. So let's go ahead and make sure we have a scout ship. We do. And let's send Thrawn to go and rob them of Kuat. Big, important... Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the ship here so we don't accidentally send in reinforcements if I have to retreat and then these guys get stuck. They're actually retreating as well. They're pulling back some of their ships. Which, you know what? Fine. You left behind the capital ships, which means it's just going to be that much easier for me to slaughter your expensive stuff. Um, I don't really feel like I need to hold back. First off, this is Golan 3. Mm, yes, it is. Okay, scary. 
So they have their big Dreadnought Shipyard, which means they're going to be pulling in lots of reinforcements, plus they have a Golan 3, which means a lot of extra damage coming in there. It's fine, though. I still think it is worth sending in, let's say, Allegiance 1, Allegiance 2, Thrawn immediately behind to buff them, followed by extra Star Destroyer and maybe a Tector over here. There we go. With all of these guys working together, plus Thrawn's ability, we should be able to beat the ever-loving crud out of them. All right, let's try doing a boarding on this Dauntless and see if it works. Please give me the Dauntless. I want it. Darn it. Is it just broken? Is that it? Is this just a broken feature? I have heard that it might be. Let's use invulnerability because Niles Ferrier is now taking damage, which I don't appreciate. All right, well, there goes the ISD. Fine, fine. All right, let's just go ahead and not take any ships. Yeah, Niles might be broken, and if so, that sucks. Um, I don't know if that means boarding shuttles are broken as well. Could be. I hope not, though. And down goes the Dreadnought Bay. They brought in one more of these. Niles, um, I mean, we can try to bring you in for one last shot at boarding this ship, but it's not going to last that long, so no. Kind of wish I had a boarding shuttle, to be honest. I think that could have helped, but alas and alack. Oh, well. Um... All right, so that's going to be a huge blow to the New Republic because they're not going to be able to rebuild their navy very quickly, and even if they can, they'll be lightweight ships. Unless that they have at least one more, I'm guessing Moncala is going to be one place where they will be able to uh, build more of their heavy ships because that's where they can do it in the base game. So they're not completely crippled, but we've like halved their potential production, unless there are other worlds that I'm not aware of. We also didn't lose a single ship and caused a huge amount of damage there. That's honestly just... Freaking awesome. An enemy fleet is about to evade Maradon over here. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can move in there and get him. Oh, wow. That's a lot of heroes. Oh, it's from whoever the red guy is. Right. Um, well, I guess we had zero fleets to defend with, so they're going directly for the ground engagement, which means I need to try to save this, because technically, they could just pack up and start moving directly to Yavin 4 and such and take some extra worlds. I don't know what kind of garrison we've got here, but if we're very smart with it, maybe we can coax them to leave me the heck alone. We got at least a few units, which is good. Um, I need to make sure we get some turret points as quickly as possible. So grab all of those. Let's see. Barracks, tax collection, a moth palace doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Okay. This isn't a very good um, defensive army, to be honest. It's it's questionable. I think we'll take our scout bikes. Just kind of move forward immediately down there. Let's try to grab these landing zones. I'm going to send some extra troops down here. See if we can set up a bunker in this area. And they're bringing in some of the big guns. Oh, boy. Yeah, I wish I had some bombers or something. Um, let's see behind one soldier make sure we control this landing. So actually, no, you guys are fine. Pull this guy out make sure we get some troops to hold on to this landing zone. I'm just trying to scare them a little bit. Take out their infantry more than anything, to be honest, because that's the stuff that can capture things. And if we can kill these guys off quick, then there's not a lot they can do. There we go. Why are we destroying this bunker? I feel like the bunker should be mine. I feel like we want that thing. Why do you have ATPTs? I think this is another Imperial Warlord faction, by the way. What are these things? Mobile command bases. Hmm... Yeah, not, not liking that. Not liking that at all. They're going to destroy everything we got over here. Oh, they brought in bombers. Hi, how's it going there? Ugh, annoying little boogers. Right, so they destroyed a couple of my turrets, so that was smart on their part, but I don't know if it's going to be enough for them. My own... Oh, hello. You guys brought in... What the frick did you bring in? What are these things? They just absolutely wrecked my infantry. Holy crud. Okay, well, now I'm a little concerned that we can't survive this. Gosh dang, this stupid hill. Look at the stormtroopers just shooting this hill. They're not actually even hitting anything. God, stormtroopers really are actually an embarrassment in every way, aren't they? All right, let's see if we can take out some of these uh, speeder bikes, whatever the heck they are. You um, go run up over here so you can drop down a quick little thermal detonator like that. Whoop, and he's dead. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're still sending in reinforcements. Uh, they bombarded... This thing, so that actually takes out some of my reinforcements. Good lord. I don't know if I've ever seen the AI actually commit to this many losses. Usually they give up by now. One thing we can do is actually sell this turret. I think. Nope. 
and then immediately build a new one before we lose control of it. It's a way to kind of spend a little bit of extra money in order to try and get your health back on your turret, basically. All right, if you guys come near this stuff, if you come near here, I should be able to kill your guys who are trying to grab the landing zone without much issue. They took out another building. Yeah, they're bombing everything. They're actually using player strats. I can't believe it. <laughs> Let's see if we can draw these guys to get shot up by the uh, anti-infantry turret. Gosh, this stupid hill is just perfectly interfering me with me in like every single way. Oh my gosh, I can't hit anything with this turret. Freaking heck, who knew that the terrain was actually going to matter this stinking much? All right. Now we should be able to shred through them. Oh, they're building turrets of their own. Oh. Oh, smart guys. Smart boys. All right. It, it's over at this point. Um, we've we've lost this world. There's just no way around it. We're going we're gonna to inflict a few more casualties, but that's, that's really all it's going to be. It's it. It's over. Oh, no. Here comes the last bomber. We're so close to having enough. Ah, oh, we almost killed the last of their units, I think. All right. You want to talk about making them fight for it? I'm proud. We made them fight for it. Wait, why is it acting as if they lost the fight? We were defeated. Did we actually kill the last of their units? We actually might have. Hang on, can we pop in here and kill your fleet and punish you? I think we can. Let's see, what do you got over here? Looks like you got a bolt cruiser, if that's uh, something I recognize, and then a clutch squadron, whatever the heck that is. This is nothing, this is nothing. You know what? I think we just go ahead and send in whatever we got here. And maybe also a Lancer plus some other small frigates or something. Screw it. Let's just surround this loser. And I've got an Interdictor Cruiser, so he's not going anywhere for long. Whoosh! Okay. Yeah, don't even try to run, buddy. This guy's gonna get blown up in no freaking time flat. Also, maybe a couple of cracks, and there we go. What do you mean we're victorious? I guess this fighter doesn't count. Okay, well, cool. Clutch Squadron's gonna have to die. So, we killed your, um, hero. And I get to hold on to Mardin. Well, what do you freaking know? Let's get him off Palace. Uh, forget the tax collection agency, because I don't... Actually, wait. How much money are you freaking worth? Is that 944? Well, you are worth the tax collection office after all. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Let's go ahead and get some defenses set up, and we're gonna hold on to this sucker. And as long as he can't break through the, uh, fleet... Well, then we don't need to send any troops over here. We can afford to wait a little bit. Alrighty, fantastic. So I think we're going to go ahead and end this video here. We took Coruscant, so things are looking pretty solid over there. We got to take over Kuwant next time around. Looks like they actually have been dismantling some of their buildings. I thought this was full, but now they're down to two. So maybe they're trying to save some money or something. Once this area is taken care of, and I don't have to worry too much about the New Republic, I think we go ahead and try to take out the Empire of the Hand and just kind of clear up our flank off in this direction. Don't forget, we also need to go to deep space and try to get the Katana Fleet. That'd be pretty fun to do, and probably the fastest way to get there... Well, actually, it's either to punch through the rest of the New Republic, or it's to go through the Empire of the Hand. And then get over here to Endor. One of the two. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.